Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. You guys asked me to show you how to do a full print stole using a small eco tank printer and that is what we're going to do today. Big shout out and special thank you to my girl Bridget over at Inspire Me Custom Tees for reaching out and supplying us with the paper we'll be using today. I'll have everything linked in the description box of this video. And if you liked the video, you learned something new, give your girl a thumbs up, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, to start off for our project, we're going to go ahead and go to canva.com, hit create a design and type in the dimensions of your paper. We're using eight and a half by 14 paper today. So those are the dimensions I entered and we're going to go ahead and hit create a new design. OK, so I measured my stole to get my dimensions. And if you're new here, I don't use templates. I just measure my item and um kind of make my own templates and we're going to go ahead and show you how. So we're going to go over here to elements and we're going to actually, we don't even need to go to elements. I mean, you could go to elements either way. You need a square. So, right. I just hit the R on my keyboard and this rectangle popped up. Now we're going to go ahead and change it to the smallest part because stoles, um, they're thin and then they get wider towards the bottom. So I just do the design with the smallest. I use the measurements of the smallest part. Just so I have, you know, like that um, extra wiggle room for error or whatnot. We're basically going to have to use one piece of paper for each side of the stole, right? So in total, we're going to need about five pieces of paper. No. Not even one, two, three, four. Yeah, about five pieces of paper. Okay, so it's three and a half inches wide. And we have, let's just do 12 right here. Let's do 12 inches. Let's just do 12 and a half. Then we're going to go ahead and just dilute, duplicate this side. So 12 and a half. So that's about 25 um inches right there right because I need this to be 30 inches long 12 and a half and 12 and a half is 25 so actually just we're just going to have an extra piece of paper because if you lay your paper out on the stole as well two pages is good enough but you just have a small amount left at the bottom you know that's not covered so we're just going to have an extra page down here that we're just going to uh just print one solid color right and um that'll be the extra for the stove so i'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this until i have four pieces and then my last page will just be a solid color and for this project i'm going to be using the color burgundy so i'm just going to go over here to photos Type in burgundy and just grab a burgundy background and just set it. Oh, no, I don't like that because it has that texture. All right, so we're just going to do that. And actually, I'm going to use the same color background for my whole image. And your square can be, you know, whatever color it is that you want because we're just going to delete it later anyway. We just need it for the dimensions. So now we're just going to go ahead and design this however you want. I know one side of the stole, I'm just going to do pictures. So I'm going to go over here to my uploads and grab the pictures that I want. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and highlight the image and remove the background. Now, background remover is a Canva Pro feature. Um, so either you can try Camera Pro free for 30 days with the link in my description box of this video. Or you can just go ahead and upload pictures with the background already removed. Okay, so let me just go ahead through and remove the background of all these pictures. Man, y'all, I don't know what it is about this pose, but it sure does have my daughter in a chokehold. Like, girl, can you do something else? <laughs> okay, so I have the pictures. And actually, so since I have the pictures I want, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this because we don't need it anymore. So now let's go up here. And I know I'm just going to go over here to elements and grab 
um, some letter frames and I'm just going to go ahead and spell out grad. So let me see GR. GR is going to go on this one and AD is going to go on this bottom one. Okay, so what I decided to do, because I didn't like the way that junior high uh, looked spaced out in between those. So I'm taking grad and I'm just putting it all on one page because at first I wanted it all along the right side, but I wasn't liking the way I was looking. So I just changed the dimensions of the letters to about two and a half. And I just moved them all onto this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this template and I'm going to lock it. And I'm going to move my text out of the way because I need to grab all of my letters. Go up here to position and we're going to hit tidy up. And that just makes them look a little bit neater than what I had them. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and group them together. Then I'm going to go ahead and put junior high, and I ended up using the Britney font for junior high. Maybe can make it even a little bit bigger. We'll see. Now I'm going to go to photos and just find a color, maybe no. Not really sure how well silver will show up on white. So black, I guess. Let's do like black glitter. And we're just going to drop that into the frames. Now the image I'm using is available for free for Canva Pro users. If you're not a Canva Pro member, go ahead and click the link in my description box so you can try out Canva Pro free for 30 days. You get access to like these different elements, fonts, graphics, and much more. Okay, link in the description box, free 30 day trial. Okay, and I'm going to change. So let's just go ahead and get rid of this box because we have our dimensions and we don't. We have everything uh, within our guides and we don't need it anymore. So let me just go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to change this junior high from black to white. And we're going to go ahead and make it a neon. Maybe make it even a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same process for the top half of my stole. I decided to use the numbers 2022. So I went over to elements again and grabbed the number frames. And then I'll also insert the same glitter background that I used for the word grad. And once I have everything all designed, we're just going to go over here to the top right toolbar where it says share and then we're just going to go ahead and download this as a png to our computer and we'll be able to print if you're enjoying this video so far you've learned something new please give your girl a thumbs up share this video with your friends and make sure you're subscribed while everything is printing we're just going to go ahead and lint roll our stove really really well front and back side to side now i'm just going to go ahead and lay my pages down on my stove just to kind of get an idea of what i want it to look like and if you notice you'll see a white border all around my pages and that is exactly what i want because to me it just helps um, with the taping. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab some heat tape and stick it to the back of the paper with the border on it. And then I'm just going to lay the paper that I trimmed on top of that. And in my opinion, it just helps give your, uh, will give that illusion of like a seamless print, right? It doesn't look like you taped it together. It looks like you just printed it out on one long roll. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, place uh, my stole on there. And then I'm just going to take that last sheet that we printed out where we made it just the full color stole, cut it in half and, you know, just put the rest on there. And I'm just going to tape it like I did previously. Now, y'all remember the name of the game is patience, okay? And when you're like, we're basically doing a hack, right? We're doing a workaround um, to do like a large item with a small printer and a small press. So when it comes to things like this, you have to take your time. 
Uh, I like to use my paper trimmer to have precise cuts because the straighter your line, the easier it is to tape up and the easier, the better your taping job, the better your project turns out, okay? So like I said, y'all, name of the game is patience. So right here, I did mess up and I'm going to tell y'all why. So right here, I just used heat tape to secure the stole to the, um, to secure the stole and the paper together, right? And wrong. I shouldn't have done that. Um, because I am using a smaller heat press, and when I say small, I mean like 15 by 15 heat press, I should have used this adhesive spray to help the stole and the paper kind of mesh together. Because when you move your stole around with the heat tape, it allowed it to shift. The paper shifted. So I did get a little bit of a ghosting. I experienced a little bit of ghosting on the stole and, uh, you know, just, just a few errors. So I highly recommend using that Elmer's adhesive spray and heat tape together versus just um, the heat tape by itself. Go ahead and give your stole a nice good press to make sure it's adhered to the paper and go ahead and add your heat tape. Then we're going to go ahead and move over to our heat press and press at 385 degrees for about 60 seconds until the stole is complete. And y'all, the ink release from this paper is insane. I was actually really impressed. Um, so, all right, Inspire Me Sublimation Paper. I'm going to have to get me a couple more packs. So, as you can see, I sprayed a little too much adhesive spray and some of the paper got stuck. But that's cool because I just wiped it off with a wet baby wipe. And I'm not sure why that little corner didn't press. But, listen, we just going to roll with the punches, right? Not every project is always 100%. <laughs> but here is our stole. I think it still turned out bomb regardless of the mistakes. As always, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Alright y'all, so this is the design. So five pages. And we'll go ahead and save this. Hit down, hit share, download, save as PNG. And then we'll go ahead and print.